thing nice and straight uh, cost a few quid but it cuts it nice and straight and it means then when it sits down in the extruder in here it will be flush and you'll get no air gap as I say you probably won't need to do anything like that for a long time because I'm hoping the machine will be set up so well that you won't get any problems <laughs> um, what else so this little gubbin it's called a BL touch it's got it written on the side um, it's an additional feature on this printer and what it does is it has a little pin in it and I'll show you later and the pin ejects itself I'll show you what the pin actually looks like I've got a few spare ones because sometimes they can get bent and things um, when I got the printer it was a bit bent and so I just replaced it all it is is I think it's a magnet um, in the end of a plastic tip um, again on Amazon really cheap um, but what it does is it fires out the pin and then when the bed is coming up it will sense when the, the pin is passing a sensor and it gets pushed back up and it, it basically the idea is it, it's a way of the machine telling itself where the bed is so usually I think on the lower models you have to dial in the bed yourself. Not entirely impossible, I'm sure it actually now that I know the machine it's probably <clears throat> not too bad. But the idea is this is a sensor thing and also what it can do is, and I'll show you later as well, is it can measure all the points on the bed and tell you if there is any areas that are uneven. And then it can level it out via the computer, maybe, I don't know, I just let it do its thing. Um, a couple of other things that I've added to this machine. So we've got, I wonder if I can show you one. Maybe there's a good one. Right, so the machine has steppers. That's what these blocks are. And they are steppers that are on all of the axis. And what they do is, well, yeah, move the X, Y, Z axis motors basically and what I've done on them is and you can see on that back one this is a heat sink I've just stuck it on and um, got them on Amazon cheap these stepper motors can get very hot when they're working as you imagine now the printer's off so that's why I can move this and it um, when it's doing lots of little movements you'll find that they get really hot and it can wear them out so people have advised sticking on some um, heat sinks that just keep it a lower temperature and generally with electronics if it doesn't get too hot it won't blow up so that's always a good thing and um, the machine is actually transferring the movement via belts the belts need to be nice and taut People say it's a bit like pulling a guitar string. I can tell you if your guitar string's that loose, you've got problems, but it's just a nice little bit of tension on that. But I wouldn't mess with that. <laughs> if it ain't broke, don't fix it. Um, if they ever went, you can replace them. Um, what else? I've put this as a little bumper thing. So sometimes if the machine if say you have turned the machine on but you'd left it like over here you should always try and when the machine's off just bring it back to center and the other thing is try and keep the bed kind of up here don't leave it hanging down here because what will happen is sometimes the machine won't remember where it was left and then it won't be able to bring the bed up or what will happen with this is if you start over here goes to show that there is still electricity in this system look at that it's still lighting up um which is why you should never open up electronics because they can still blow you up even when they're off um but there you can see look it's deployed itself the little bl touch thing and then i just stuck it back in but yeah so if the the extruder was sat over here and you turned it back on and said hey you know go back to your home position which is where it tries to bring it back to center it because it's starting in the wrong place sometimes what it might do is run into the edge and you'll hear it go Arr. if that happens just switch it off at the switch now you can just kill this machine and you're not going to do any harm to it as far as i'm aware um, it's not done me any harm but you just flick it off at the switch and then bring it back to center if you're getting the same thing with the the bed doing that i'll show you what you do to bring it back to center but you'll hear the motors going Brrr. it's not good to leave it going it will damage them so you just turn it off 
and then you can manually do it bring it back to general center but what this thing is for is if this was to run over here what would happen before is this little part would bash onto the wheel here and break it um, I think that's why it was maybe bent when I got it um, you can't really do it the other way because it's going to hit the other bits first but it's a very fragile bit so it just protects it again another free little design attach it on there the other things that I've added on here is a little support the wires they are delicate it is made in China this stuff <laughs> you know it it's it's very much component based and quality is not always 100% so you just got to give it a bit of love um, and I did the same on the back there because what you'll find is this will hang on your print and get caught and rip it off um, I've also put a little support under here for the cable that goes into the um, the hot bed so yeah this is the the bed that heats up you've got the metal part and there's a load of heating element on here and then on top this is a glass that is tempered or something and it has a sort of um, coating on it that's to help the print stick um, but yeah you can actually flip this glass over and use the other side you can see here I um, dug into the bed a little bit aggressively with my uh, scrapey tool and took off some of the bed it doesn't matter I've actually printed on this the worst you're going to get is a slight mark on the underside but it will not cause warping or anything I mean I think if you'd lost whole the whole bed it wouldn't be great but you can if that did happen just flip the bed over these cost about the cheapest I've seen is about 40 quid don't know about postage so mm, some people use like a bit of a mirror I think it would have rough edges but you know you can always get new ones if you need it but it's just because this one is a slightly bigger size it's more expensive so anything else yeah so I think that's the main thing so the power cord power su supply is a kettle lead these are all the wires that are just wiring everything up if you ever find I found that I'd accidentally knocked off one of the connectors for the steppers so nothing was moving in I don't know the y-axis direction um, just if that does happen and you're not getting movement in a certain direction just check that all your plugs are plugged in you know like these little things um, this is a sensor so when the machine moves over to the side it will activate that sem sensor and then stop and um, so that's what that's for you can see there's one over there and there'll also be one as the bed's going up so 